What's up? It's Maz. I actually suddenly have time to do a tarot reading. Was not expecting that today. Not really sure what's going to happen. Would like to clear the environmental space. I'm going to light a little Nog Champa. Wasn't that a cool thing I did at the beginning there with the little witch stone? I can't believe I have this. Honestly, it's probably not mine. <laughs> probably belongs to an offspring. I spawned witches. I did. They're amazing people, and they do a lot for the world. Sorry, Nardo. Little incense in the eye. Have you met Nardo? Nardo's here with us today. My woofer buddy. It is Nardo, the fortune-telling dog of mass. I'm going to pull a card of yours. We have Nardo's teeny tiny tarot deck that has Major Arcana and Major Arcanine. That's all it's got. Let's see what Nardo has to tell us. Spirits of Nardo. Please guide us with a card. <laughs> Thank you, Nardo. We have the Hanged Man. When I see the Hanged Man, I do not react like other people do. The Hanged Man is usually the Vision Quest card. Are you familiar with the story of Odin hanging from the tree Yggdrasil and having visions and creating the runes the Elder Futhark by laying staves down on the ground above his head and that's how it's lore man but when I see the hangman I always go and grab a rune I don't know what Nardo does. He look, he gazes at me lovingly. That's what Nardo does. I have a bag of wooden runes that might be because of Odin. These might be messages from Odin. It's funny how everything in my mind is because of the ancients who've come before. That's really been on my mind a lot lately. We all think we're so original. Where would we be without those stories? Is this Othala? I don't remember. I'll have to look it up and get back to you. But anyway, this is the rune, and it's a room of um, that which cannot be lost, that which cannot be taken from you, inheritance, legacy, if this is the right rune. So, this is from Nardo. And Odin. See, and I believed that story for the longest time. And the younger Futhark, that's actually the runes that the Norse wrote in. It's actually Gothic and Germanic and comes from several different Norse traditions. It's actually developed like any language, like normal people. I really thought it was because Odin. I just took that as fact, academic fact, but no. Legacy, that which cannot be taken from us. Our lore, our stories. That's true, the events of your life are something that cannot be stolen from you, no matter what. You did that thing. What have you done with your legacy? As you travel through time, representing your family and those who have come before, whose thoughts and stories now inhabit your mind. Spirits, Maz has light seers. Why are we talking about lore and legacy today? Because there's going to be a fight. Oh no, because it sticks. I don't know. You tell me. 
Traditionally, it's men hitting each other with sticks for no good reason. It's conflict and competition. So that's in the atmosphere around us. So people are trying to take things, perhaps, from you. And no, it's not going to happen because who you are cannot be stolen. All right. Is that the whole message? You got anything else to tell me, light seers? Spirits of light seers. Did you have a side gig? Are you trying to figure out whether you want to pursue your side gig or just stick with your main gig? Because there's conflict and competition at work. People are acting strange and you don't know why. Right? No? Yes? I'm telling you. Okay. So you might want to make a decision about, you know, where you want your income stream to come from. And you might pursue every side gig you possibly can, right? Otherwise, you might be sorry. Because not everybody is... I mean, people want to be friendly and wonderful, but at the end of the day, they also have to survive. And they've got people depending on them as well, maybe. So sometimes you have to be in honest competition with someone who thinks they can do a better job than you. I don't know. I wasn't even planning to be here, was I? Okay. This is Maz. Love you.